Okay. So the next thing that we do now is the commutativity of addition and multiplication. Of addition and multiplication. Now, what do you mean by this? What we mean by this is that suppose there are two whole numbers. Let's say whole numbers. 4 and 6. And I have to do an addition of these two whole numbers. Now, 4 plus 6 is equal to how much? 10. And similarly, 6 plus 4 is also equal to 10. Now, it did not make a difference whether I added 4 to 6 or I added 6 to 4. In both the cases, my result was 10, which is same. So, what we mean by commutative property of addition is that when we add the whole numbers, whether we add first, uh, say 4 first and 6 afterwards, which means the first number first and the second number thereafter, or vice versa, which means that we add 6 to 4. In both the cases, the result is unaffected by the fact that which number is first. So the result is not affected by whether we add 4 first and 6 thereafter, or we add 6 and then add 4 to that number. This is called the commutativity of addition. Now, similarly, one has to see whether the whole numbers are also commutative for multiplication. Again, what do we mean by commutativity of multiplication? If, suppose, I multiply into 6 is equal to 24 and 6 into 4 is also equal to 24. So what we say is that this is true which means that the results for other whole number insofar as multiplication is concerned is also unaffected by which number is used first. So you may multiply 6 by 4 or you may multiply 4 by 6 in both the cases, the result is going to be the same. So, 4 by 6 and 6 by 4, both are equal. Therefore, we said that multiplication of whole number is also commutative, which means that we may multiply two numbers in any order, two or more numbers in any order, the result is going to be the same for the whole number. Now, just like we did earlier, is subtraction also commutative? So again, if I minus, subtract 6 from 4, it comes to me a number of minus 2. Whereas if I do it otherwise, it gives me a number of plus 2. Therefore, for subtraction, commutativity does not apply for whole numbers. Similarly, for division also, as we had discussed earlier, 4 by 6 is not equal to 6 by 4. 4 by 6 is what? This is equal to basically 2 by 3 and this is equal to 3 by 2. So again, commutativity does not apply for division as well. So therefore what we say is that for two numbers the division need not necessarily be commutative the subtraction need not necessarily be commutative, but addition and multiplication for two whole numbers is commutative.